Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to clean your probe, your oxygen electrode, um, is you're going to need some Bon Ami. You're going to need your O-ring, your plastic uh, O-ring applicator, your Teflon applicator, your O-ring for the actual probe, and you'll also need some standard membranes, DI water, distilled water, and a paper towel. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, take the paper towel, fold it up, fold it up, fold it up. I like to fold it to get pretty small, put it in the palm of my hand, and then I take my foot thumb and I push it into my hand like that to make a little indentation. I'm going to take my Bon Ami, and I'm going to pour Bon Ami into it. Okay. So I got my Bon Ami in there. All right. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot, just some Bon Ami. Then I'm going to put my water in there. Don't need a lot of water either. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my probe. My this is my dirty probe. Okay, it's not. You can probably see it's probably not so clean right now. But we're going to try and take that and shine it up. So I just kind of swirl it around, get it in there, good. And then I start to dig it in. Okay, into the palm of my hand. Now you can do it either way. You can push up or push down. Either way, you're going to start pushing it in. And you're going to see very quickly how dirty it got. You know. So we're going to keep doing that. Until it's done. Okay. Now this this probe is not overly dirty, dirty. It's not super dirty, so it's it's not going to be that horrible to clean. Um, probes tend to get more dirty. Uh, you know, if you haven't cleaned it in a long, long, long time, it'll get a lot worse. So again, I just keep doing this process over and over and over again. And then I like to take it and um, what I do is I'll pinch it in there like that. Pinch the end and I'll get the sides real good too. You know, you that definitely use some force with this. Use some el elbow grease. And you'll see, now what I do is I'll take it on the outside edge of it where there is no, um, but, uh, where there is no Bonami. And I still have Bonami, a ton of Bonami on here. So I'll just take that and I'll just push that in there. And again, you'll start to see, I'll show you a picture, see all the dirt on there? You can see it's it's definitely dark. And you can see that. You know. And then again, I'll do another clean spot on here and just sit there and, and try and, and really and this I also move it around too. You see like I'm starting to swirl it around and push it and get it clean. You really, really want to get your probe clean. It's important. Very important. For good readings you want to have a nice clean probe. So my probe now, if you can see it, try and get it in the camera there. See my probe is really pretty clean at this point in time. Should definitely be shiny. Okay, so this is all the dirt that I got off of it. Okay, now there's still some more dirt that I can get off of this. Okay, so I'm going to go in another spot. I'm just going to show you how much dirt I can get off of it just by pushing it in there. And that, now I'm not using any more water or anything like that. I'm just pushing it and, and really getting it. You can hear it squeaking. See how much more I got off of it? See? And now I could probably get even more off of it this way. I'll push it like right here. So this is the third spot now. Okay, again, there's no bon there's no Bonami on this now. Now we're just kind of clean on it. I'm pushing really hard and I'm squeezing. And I'm really getting that clean. And it's good to, again, move it around like that. You know, you want to kind of twist it around like that. I'll slow down my motion. And that's how I do it. Okay. Okay, now look at that. See, so this, this was one, this is two, and this is three, and I'm still getting quite a bit off of it. Now, as you'll see, it's getting a lot cleaner, okay? It's becoming really highly polished. Try not to move the camera here. 
pulled away a little bit there. Okay, so it's getting really, really, really polished. And that's what you want. You want to keep doing this until all that black no longer comes up. So I'm going to grab a uh, another paper towel, fold it up, fold it up, fold it up, fold it up. Now, no more Bonami, because I'm done with the Bonami at this point, and I'm just going to dig it in, and, and now I'm just doing it dry, with no Bonami, and I'm just digging it in, and I'm trying to get rid of all that, that dark, those dark spots. So basically, I'm really just kind of like polishing it up. Okay, so now I'm starting to get, it, it's definitely getting cleaner and cleaner as I go. This was my first one, this is my second one. I'll go over here, try and get a third one in there. Okay, and again, this is moving it around like that. I'll slow down my motion, moving it around like that, and, and pushing, you know, I'm taking my thumb, if you can see it, I'm pushing with my thumb on that. I'm also holding with the two, the three fingers, and just getting it clean all over the place. Still getting, still getting stuff off. You know, I'm going to take it. And at this point, because I'm starting to get a little bit better with it, I'm going to take it. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of water on the end, and the water is really just to make sure that I don't have um, any uh, any more uh, banami anywhere on it. Okay. And as you can see, again. Still getting stuff off of it. It's important. Okay. All right. Now it's it's really starting to get clean. Now it's getting really really clean. So probably just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So this was my first, this second, and this is my last one. And you can see there's really nothing left on it. Okay. So that's one now. Now that is one really really clean probe. That is a polished and clean probe. Okay, it should be shiny, very shiny. You know, if you if you hold it in the light, you can really see it shine. So and that's what it should look like all the way around. Spin it around for you. Okay. That being said, now that that's done, put that you put your probe off to the side. All right. Now, go ahead and grab your your membrane. And what we do is we always cut it in half, okay, so I just hold it with my two fingers like this. I take my scissors and I'll cut it right in half, okay? So now I have two halves. Don't ma it doesn't matter if they're exactly even, just so that they're really, really close. I mean, just try and get it as even as possible. Put my one membrane back because I don't, I don't need that right now. Now I'll take this membrane and I'll take my thumb okay and I'll put it on here like that and I pull over this so I let the flap kinda of come down over and I just hold it with my finger like that okay now it's not super tight okay there's still a little bit of play in there it's not super tight and I take my o-ring okay my o-ring and I just gonna put it over it like so <clears throat> Now I did this uh, bad on purpose so that I can just show you something. So there, if you can see this, there's a, a, a little bit of play in here. There's some wrinkles in it. If I hold it off to the side, you can see it. But there's one big wrinkle right here. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. When you want to really pull out the wrinkles, that's what you're trying to get out. So you can grab the side of this and just kind of pull around a little bit, you know. Just enough to get that out, but you still don't want to drum tight. Okay, see there's wrinkles in it? You don't want to drum tight. Now that is not bad right now. And what I like to do is I kind of push down a little bit. As you can see, I'm pushing down just a little bit. Not too hard. You, don't, you know, these membranes aren't that, uh, that super duper strong. So, um, But you definitely want to have some play in there. Okay? If I can push it up with my finger, you can see that I can definitely push up a little bit with it. Now I'm not hurting the membrane right now, I'm just pushing to a point where it's not hurting it. 
but there's definitely some play in there. All right. So now that that's done, we're going to go with my uh, probe, and I'm going to put my drop of uh, KCL solution on top of that, and then we're going to put that over that like that. Okay, I'm just showing you a preview of what's to come. Put that over like that, and we're going to be pushing it up. See how it's coming above the surface area like that? That's important. We want to do that. Also, before you do that, before you get into that, you want to do this. You definitely want to get this guy, this Teflon piece, all ready to go. So I get my Teflon piece. I like to get it down pretty close to the edge there, as you can see. Okay, so I got my KCL solution here. Um, I like to uh, just kind of shake it up just so that, you know, there's no uh, particles or anything like that. So it's all nice and diluted. Um, I open it up like this and take our probe. Now everything should be ready at this point. You should have, uh, this is uh, all ready to go. Your O uh, your o ring applicator is ready to go. Everything is ready and should all be right within grabbing distance so that you're ready to roll. Okay, and also make sure that you have your pair of scissors handy as well. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put my drop on here. Okay. All right, now that's on there. Let's see. Here we go. I'm sorry, adjusting the camera here. All right, so I got my drop on there. And as you can see, the drop is on there. I'm going to take and put this over the top of it just like that. Okay. So you can see your KCL has gone around it now. All right, and then I'm going to put this on top. Once I put this on top, I can let go. Okay. Once that's uh, so, now I have completely let go of it. I, so I'm just still holding onto the probe. That's it. And then I'm going to push down. All right, and then just kind of go around with my fingers, just to make sure that it's on there. And then that's it. So hopefully you got all that action. And then I pop this off, okay, and let this fall away for right now. Pull this off, be careful, and uh, then you're just going to take a look around, and you're going to see if there are any tears in the membrane at all, uh, wrinkles or tears, and I don't see any on there. Sorry about the camera movements. All right. Cutting it all off. You, it's a really important that you cut it all off around it because um, just like that, that's fine. Because it won't fit in the uh, the uh, cuvette if it doesn't have uh, that all cut off. Okay, so now I'm going to take my uh, where is it right here? Okay, you can bring this back up and bring it back over carefully and you pull it off like that. No big deal. Okay. And now you're ready. That is a cleaned probe and a very successfully cleaned probe. Okay, now that I have my cuvette, I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. Okay. I have to fill it with a little bit of water. All right. I'll take this guy. And I will place it in there. And then I kind of, I don't ram it in. I just make sure that it gets wet. And you can see that it easily gets wet all the way around it just to get it wet around it and then I just push it in like that and it goes right to the stop and that's it you know don't overly jam it in or, or ram it in because then you'll 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 mess it up make sure that it's got some uh, wetness on it uh, make sure you put a little water in here and a little wet and then just twist it around lightly you know nothing should be hard because if you're gonna do that if you if you twist it really hard or you push it really hard what will end up happening is you'll mess up your membrane you don't want to do that now you can see there's like a little bubble on, on your membrane. You can always just uh, give it a tap. And that bubble will, should pop right off. And don't worry too much about the bubble sticking on there. Because once you uh, fill it with the rest of the water and then turn your stir motor on, that'll get rid of those bubbles for you. Alright, and then you can go ahead and put your cuvette back in place. And, um, and that's done. You have successfully, make sure that you plug your... Uh, yeah, make sure that you plug this back in. 
Very important to plug that in. Okay, and make sure it's seated all the way down, so push it all the way down. Okay, and that's it.